Number 68. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's metallic, network, covalent, ionic, or molecular, formed by each of the following substances. And then we have SiO2. Now, just know that crystalline solids are four different types. So there's basically four different types of crystalline solids. Metallic, network, covalent, ionic, and molecular crystalline solids. Which one would SiO2 form? Well, I wrote down maybe a couple of good, helpful hints here to help us out. Now, we have to identify what's going on with SiO2. Now, just know that metallic crystalline solids, you're just going to see a single metal. And in this case, SiO2, uh, I don't see a single metal, kind of like Cu, if it was just Cu, or if it was just like Na, that would be metallic. Ionic is just like ionic, uh, you know, ionic compounds, you have to have a metal and a nonmetal. Now, in this case, we do have silicon, right? So Si, and on the periodic table, silicon is a metalloid. And O2, or oxygen, right? If we look on the periodic table, oxygen is the nonmetal. So in this case, maybe silicon is acting as a metal, because remember, metalloids can have metal and nonmetal properties. So we'll hold that one there. Molecular crystalline solids are all nonmetals. So like H2O, NH3. Here, since silicon is a metalloid, eh, it wouldn't be really a molecular crystalline solid. And then the last one is a network covalent crystalline solid, where your, your substance in question is just a single nonmetal. So if I just saw copper, uh, I almost said copper. If we just see carbon, that's just a nonmetal. That would be a network solid. Or anything with SI. Now, silicon, when I, when I did say that anything with SI, what I did mean was silicon is going to be the first element. So it would be SI and then something whether there's two of them or three of them or four of them, doesn't really matter. The silicon, the metalloid, should be first. And that's exactly what we have going on here. So if you spot out silicon, especially if it's a uh, the element in the beginning, it's always going to form a network covalent crystalline solid. So that takes care of this one. This would be a network covalent. So we were down to ionic or network covalent, but since it's specifically silicon, just know that anytime that you do see a silicon, SiO2, SiO4, um, it's going to form that network covalent Christ, uh, solid, we'll say. So maybe I'll just include the solid. Yeah, I don't have to. <laughs> Anyway, I hope this works out. Let me know in the comments. Uh, just memorize these four different crystalline solids and you should be good to go. I will see you in later lessons. Well, not really see you, but I'll talk to you, right? I hope you're having a great day. If you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the support and I hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.